right, how fast can we get on target and then reload? It's going to be a double tap. what that's an audible pop folks you know what that means it means we have a squib round in this gun so we're going to unload it and we'll take a look down the barrel here in a second well it fired take the rest of the rounds out Hey guys, I apologize in advance for the ladies out there. Don't get too excited. Please excuse my appearance at the moment. But the pterodactyls have reached fever pitch. And by pterodactyls, I mean the mosquitoes around here. So, audible pop. Instead of a bang, you hear a pss or a, a pop. Okay? That means that the gun discharged but with not enough powder. I don't know what causes this. I can't tell you. It just happened to me. The ammunition I was using did get a little bit wet. So what does that mean? Keep your powder dry is what they used to say. So it could be the problem. I've had this happen to me with Glock pistols. I've happened to have, an, have happened to me with a revolver before. Uh, but it could be a very dangerous situation. You need to make sure we're listening. If we hear that audible pop, we need to unload the weapon immediately and get ready to look down the barrel. So if you're able to disassemble the weapon, do so. If not, like this revolver, I'm gonna have to unload it and bring it in to a workshop where I can work on it. Now, it may be difficult for the camera to see, but sweetheart, see if you can see. Can you see that in there? A little bit. A little bit? Not really. Okay, not really. But if you look into the barrel right here, there's a. this was a 357 Magnum round. Precision one out of South Carolina, 125 grain, full metal jacket. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I, I think the ammo so far has been great, but this is this is definitely a problem. So if you were, I don't even know what would happen if you were to fire another round on top of that. Who knows what kind of disaster that might look like. I mean, we, we could have body parts flying somewhere. I don't know. The gun would certainly explode. But your face would be in jeopardy. And I can't afford that. So, what are we going to do about this? We're going to hammer it out. Now, if you're able to, we're going to try and force the round the way it should go down the barrel. But it's going to be difficult for me to do that. I cannot really get the rod in there. So, I'm going to go the opposite way. And luckily for me, it shouldn't be too far to travel. So I'm going to take a cleaning rod, and then I'm going to start tapping this sucker until I dislodge it and get it out of the gun. Without breaking anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I see some daylight here, so it is moving a little bit. If you're able to put the gun in a vise, it's even better. Feel it coming. Feel it coming. Come on. There it is. Hey. Ah. Look how I got stuck to my rod. And there it is. That's a 357 Magnum 125 grain bullet. It is it's lodged in there, man. It's, ah, it's good stuck luck taking on, the rod. Yeah, out. right, exactly. It's really stuck on my rod here. But this is a good reason you can see right here. Good reason to carry a backup gun. God forbid that happened in a fight. You gotta go to a backup gun. Or tertiary. If it happens to your backup gun, you gotta go to a, a third gun or a fourth gun. All right, why don't we pause that and I'll see if I can dislodge it. Okay, play. It's very rare that we get to capture one of these moments on camera. It is educational and fun when things like this happen. This is the very soft 125 grain Jacketed soft point from Precision One. 
and uh, my rod pounded it and got it stuck and now it's out. So let's just double check the barrel real quick, make sure there isn't any surprises down there like two bullets. I'm just kidding guys, that would be impossible. I fired one round and stopped shooting. No, but it looks pretty good. So that, is, that is entirely for for humorous purposes for me saying that. All right guys, and now I can safely load this weapon with American-made factory hollow points and I can go uh, to the grocery store. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay head up, eyes up. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>